You're working on a complex project, juggling multiple tasks, and suddenly you need an AI to help you analyze data, generate content, and even assist with coding. Sounds too good to be true? Well, not anymore. Let me introduce you to Claude 3.5 Sonnet, the latest AI model from Anthropic, designed to rival ChatGPT with its incredible intelligence, speed, and vision capabilities. And there's more to this story. Anthropic, known for its ethical stance on AI development, promises not just a powerful tool, but one that prioritizes responsible use. Stick around till the end of this video to discover three game-changing features of Claude 3.5 Sonnet that you absolutely need to know. Before we dive into the first segment, make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on any future updates. What exactly is Claude 3.5 Sonnet, and why should you care about it? Claude 3.5 Sonnet is Anthropic's latest generative AI model, and it's here to give ChatGPT a run for its money. It's designed to combine intelligence, speed, and vision capabilities, making it a versatile tool for a wide range of tasks. So what sets Claude 3.5 Sonnet apart from its predecessors and competitors? For starters, it's a significant upgrade from the previous Claude 3 Sonnet. Anthropic has fine-tuned this model to surpass Claude 3 Opus in intelligence, making it one of the smartest AI models available today. Whether you're working on everyday tasks or more complex projects, Claude 3.5 Sonnet is built to deliver top-notch performance. Claude 3.5 Sonnet is the middle child in Anthropic's family of models, balancing speed and performance perfectly. While Claude Haiku is the lightest and fastest model, and Claude Opus is the powerhouse for complex tasks, Claude 3.5 Sonnet offers a sweet spot for most users. Anthropic recently released their latest generative AI model, Claude 3.5 Sonnet, and it's got some impressive features that make it a strong rival to ChatGPT. Here are three key things you need to know about this new AI contender. First up, Claude 3.5 Sonnet versus ChatGPT, the showdown. So how does Claude 3.5 Sonnet measure up against OpenAI's GPT-40? Anthropic is positioning itself as the ethical and responsible alternative to OpenAI, and with Claude 3.5 Sonnet, they've got a model that's all about intelligence, speed, and vision capabilities. This new model sits right in the middle of Anthropic's lineup, combining speed and performance for everyday tasks. To give you a quick overview, Anthropic's AI family includes Claude Haiku, the lightest and fastest model, and Claude Opus, which is designed for heavy-duty tasks like complex math and coding. Now, Claude 3.5 Sonnet claims to be smarter than its predecessor, Claude 3 Sonnet, and even outperforms Claude 3 Opus in terms of intelligence. To the average user, the day-to-day -day experience might not reveal dramatic differences between Claude 3.5 Sonnet and GPT-40. Both models are highly capable and excel in various tasks. However, for those who need an edge in specific areas like reasoning or coding, Claude 3.5 Sonnet might just have the upper hand. Next, we have speed and performance benchmarks, marginal wins. One of the standout features of Claude 3.5 Sonnet is its impressive performance metrics. This model is designed to be fast, making it ideal for real-world applications where time is of the essence. Whether you're generating content, analyzing data, or assisting with coding, Claude 3.5 Sonnet delivers results quickly and efficiently. User testimonials highlight the model's speed as a significant advantage. Many users have reported that Claude 3.5 Sonnet handles tasks more swiftly than its competitors, saving them valuable time and enhancing productivity. This speed, combined with its intelligence, makes it a powerful tool for both individuals and businesses. In practical terms, this means you can rely on Claude 3.5 Sonnet for a wide range of applications. From writing and research to coding and data analysis, this model is equipped to handle it all with ease. And because it's designed with everyday tasks in mind, you don't need to be an AI expert to take full advantage of its capabilities. When it comes to benchmarks, Claude 3.5 Sonnet has shown it can hold its own. In tests, it outperformed GPT-40, Google's Gemini 1.5 Pro, and Meta's Llama in several key areas like reasoning and coding. It even beat GPT-40 in graduate-level reasoning and matched it in undergraduate-level knowledge. However, these victories are by slim margins. For the average user, these differences might not be noticeable in everyday tasks. As AI expert Gary Marcus pointed out, the progress in AI development is slowing down. Despite the massive investment in AI research, 
the gains are becoming more incremental. So while Claude 3.5 Sonnet is impressive, it might not feel like a huge leap from what you're used to with other advanced models. And finally, the vision capabilities and new features. One of the standout features of Claude 3.5 Sonnet is its vision capabilities. This is the first free version from Anthropic that can interpret and understand visuals, similar to what GPT-40 offers. It can transcribe text from images, interpret charts and graphs, and even create slideshow presentations from data. However, there's a catch. The free version has usage limits that depend on daily capacity, and during high demand, you might hit those limits faster than expected. For a smoother experience, you might want to consider the Pro version, which costs $20 a month and offers priority access and better bandwidth. Now, it's important to note that while Claude 3.5 Sonnet can understand images, it can't generate them. Anthropic has taken a more cautious approach to generative AI, focusing on preventing misuse of their technology. This means no AI-generated images from Claude 3.5 Sonnet, unlike OpenAI's Dolly 3. Now, let's talk about one of the most innovative features of Claude 3.5 Sonnet, Artifacts. This feature represents a significant leap forward in how users can interact with AI-generated content. With Artifacts, when you ask Claude to generate a piece of code, a text document, or even a design for a website, it doesn't just give you a static output. Instead, these creations appear in a dynamic workspace area where they can be edited and built upon in real time. Imagine asking Claude to create a vector graphic or an entire game. Instead of just receiving the code or the initial design, you see it materialize in a sidebar. You can interact with this content, make adjustments, and refine it to better suit your needs. This feature moves Claude from being just a chatbot to a comprehensive productivity tool, similar to the direction OpenAI is taking with ChatGPT. The Artifacts feature is currently in preview, but it has already shown great potential. It allows users to integrate AI-generated content into their projects and workflows seamlessly, enhancing productivity and collaboration. In the near future, teams and organizations will be able to centralize their knowledge, documents, and ongoing work in one shared space, with Claude acting as an on-demand teammate. That's it for today's dive into Claude 3.5 Sonnet. What do you think about this new AI model? Are you excited to try it out? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more updates on the latest in AI technology. Stay tuned for more content from AI Nexus. Catch you on the other side.